So let's talk first of all about the one-on-one -on -one movement. Yeah. For anyone who doesn't know at this point what kind of this idea of the one-on-one -on -one movement is, yeah. what is it? So seven years ago, I was in Argentina, met some kids that needed shoes um, to go to school. They didn't have the proper footwear. I wanted to help them. But instead of starting a charity, I decided to start a for-profit business with a one-for-one -one model. And the idea is that we would sell a pair of shoes, and every time we sell it, we would give a pair to a child in need one-for-one. -one. So when you bought something, you knew that someone was getting something that needed it. How were you able to, to marry business and charity together? Well, I, I think it's difficult when you have an established organization that has all this history of doing things a certain way. Now, we are seeing larger companies like a Procter & Gamble or a Walgreens integrating giving in some of their product lines. But it, for when you're starting out in the beginning, which we did from the very beginning as part of your DNA, it's a little bit easier. Because when I created my financial model, when I was putting together the business plan, I already earmarked you know, this amount of money for making a second pair of shoes. When we decided to get into our next one for one product, which was eyewear, you know, we looked at sunglasses and we said, is there enough margin in sunglasses to be able to give prescription glasses or a cataract surgery? And the answer was yes. So what I found is the way that you can kind of give, sub give substantially and be profitable is you got to look at high margin products, that's number one. And number two is you've got to use your giving as your marketing. So Tom's isn't spending the millions of dollars in marketing, advertising, celebrity endorsements, billboards, TV commercials right. that say Nike or Adidas or Uggs is spending but we're doing our giving, and our giving gets our customers to be such evangelists for the brand, that's the best marketing you can have. Do you ever have those moments where you thought, okay, this is an amazing idea, but I don't know if this is actually gonna strike a chord? Yeah, I think definitely where we had them the most was in production. So my business is before mainly in media and, and, and not in actually manufacturing something. I mean, we had shoes that would be falling apart, they'd be coming in orders late, and that was just like so stressful because you have so much cash tied up in this object now. And then if it gets to the port and it's not right, there were many kind of very scary dark days where we thought, this just might not work. And then, you know, as fate would have it, we got through those hard times and then we got more consistency, we got good partners, and, and now production, I don't, I don't waste time thinking about it all anymore. And I think that's one of the great joys of being an entrepreneur is, is getting to see people using and loving your product. Like, I mean, one of the things that I think is when I talk about Tom's impact, it's when I meet like nine and 10 year olds who are wearing our shoes, who are like giving up their birthday to raise money for charity water. Like, and it all started with that first purchase of, oh, I can purchase something and help someone. So I think that to me is like, when I see young people who are super excited about this idea, that's probably the most uh, gratifying time outside of you know, the many weeks a year I spend in the field, you know, actually giving shoes and, and, and visiting our eye clinics. Explain to us kind of in short what the marketplace is you guys have just launched. Sure. So we launched the Toms.com marketplace, you know, literally within the last 24 hours. And it's all about aggregating and curating other companies who have incorporated giving into their business model in a really authentic way. So most of the companies and products you'll find on the marketplace are early stage. Um, they have, you know, we're probably one of their largest customers now by selling it on the marketplace. But it's everything from, you know, headphones that when you buy them they give hearing aids to, um, you know, scarves and blankets that employ women in northern Uganda that wouldn't have jobs. Um, you know, um, there's some amazing bags that contribute to scholarships for kids' education. Every single product has a very clear, authentic, and distinctive give back. And uh, many of the products have been inspired by Tom's or my book or those things. So as I was thinking about what Tom should do next, instead of us launching another one-for-one -one product ourselves, I thought it'd be more powerful to kind of recognize this moment in time where there are 30 companies that are doing this and over 200 products now, and to put them all together and kind of lift up the movement and not just the Tom's brand.